Hey guys, it's Brittany and I'm here today to do a wig review for you guys. So I am very excited because I've been so busy lately so I haven't been able to do a lot of wig reviews. A lot of wig reviews that you guys have seen were recorded like three weeks ago. Some of them even almost a month ago. So teaching has been just taking over my life and I miss my channel so much. I miss um, all that time I got to dedicate to my channel this summer. I'm missing it so much. I'm gonna make a separate video about teaching, like an updated video about my teaching and everything, but today's video is gonna be a review on Model Models Deep Invisible L Part Wig in the style Blue Meadow, and this is her. Now the reason I wanted to get Blue Meadow is because earlier this year I did a review on Coco Meadow and that wig was so beautiful. I'm gonna try to insert like pictures of me wearing that wig. I wore that wig for maybe three weeks to a month. That wig was so beautiful. The texture was beautiful. Uh, the style of it was beautiful and it looked so natural. But eventually it was so thin in the back that you could feel tracks. And that was just such a disappointment because that literally was like one of my favorite wigs, but the back of it was so thin. And if you watch Natural Joy 86's video, she did that review um, probably in January or sometime. She probably did a review on that in January, I believe, and she mentioned how thin it was in the back. So that was disappointing, and I never repurchased that wig, even though I loved it. So I'm hoping that Blue Meadow is the corrected version of Coco Meadow. That's why I decided to purchase this wig. Um, you guys know I had in braids like two weeks ago or a week ago or so, but because I wanted to try this wig so bad, I took my braids out and yeah. So I purchased my wig from sisterwigs.com. They didn't send me this wig. I've never purchased from Sister Wigs myself. I usually get sent wigs, but so I wanted to see what it was like actually purchasing from them and not being, you know, a vlogger. I just wanted to purchase as a customer. And I actually got my wigs very quickly, so, because I ordered multiple wigs. But anyway, it comes with two combs in the front around the parting space. That's how much parting space you get. Looks like about two and a half inches of parting space, three inches. You got a comb in the back and adjustable straps. Now I have already cut the lace on this wig, but this is a, it's a hard lace wig, but it's a softer hard lace. So that's really nice. Um, I did already tweeze the part and I haven't raked the curls at all. So this is what the curls actually look like. Um, the hair texture is a yakky texture. So I'm going to go ahead and style this for you guys on camera because I usually don't do that. Oh, and I have on my Desio contacts today. I don't really wear them that much, especially like during the week, work week. But I have them on today and I think they look nice. I have on the caramel brown today. Whew. So right off the back, this cap is small. And it could be because my hair is not braided underneath. I just have on two wig caps. So it's a little bit, it's small to medium size. This is not a big head friendly cap. So I'm gonna brush out some of my edges. And I'm gonna lay them down with some even New York Edge Tamer. All right, so I'm gonna use the 24 hour Edge Tamer Eben New York uh, Extra Mega Hold Edge Control. Now, I think this edge control is really good, but like what some people have said, it does kind of, it can turn white and cake up a little bit. So I'm just gonna put this on my edges and then take my toothbrush and brush them down. Honestly, I know better, but that kitty had me stupid and I know that she a good girl and I'm a good dude. Mix that with the right song and right mood. And okay, so I'm gonna take my Cover Girl um, Loose Powder in color 120 Transparent Honey and I'm just gonna put that in my part. Now I would use just like a 
a pressed powder, but mine is loose, so this is messy. That's the only reason I would say use a, a pressed powder, because this is kind of messy. But this is what I have in front of me, so I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to take a small brush like this and put it in my parting space. Okay, so that's what the part looks like right now. I think it looks pretty good. Let me just add a little bit more. And just rubbing in a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to finger comb the curls a little bit. And I'm going to move back so you guys can see. Oof. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling myself right now. Oh, I do got a little bit of hump action at the top, but no fear because I have my curl wand here that I had plugged up. So I'm going to just run that over the top. I don't even want to take this off because I got to do one more wig review after this. But this is freaking beautiful. And it has a nice swoop bang over here. And that's something I love. One of my viewers in the comment section, she was like, why do you like have all the same kind of styles in your video? But if you like something, you're going to gravitate towards it. I like, I like wigs with swoop bangs. That's just my thing. Oh my gosh. Yes. Mm, this is gorgeous. Okay. So this falls on me about 18 to 20 inches. That's how it falls in the front. Here is the left side. Here's the right side. And here's all the hair to the back. Now this puts me in the mind of, um, Ooh, yes. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. This puts me in the mind of Nisha, but I don't, I've never owned Nisha, so I can't, um, you know speak to how similar it is but from the videos I've watched this one looks like a a shorter a shorter Nisha and a little bit probably more relaxed it's not as textured and yakky as Nisha this is beautiful oh my gosh I love this it's got the right amount of volume it's not too thin I don't feel any tracks so I feel like this is an updated version of Coco Meadow like I think it is. So I told you guys the cap is small to medium. It is not a large cap, but I don't mind that because with my Model Model Dream and a lot of those wigs similar, those caps are so big that I have to like fold them under and I have a big head. So um, this is not uncomfortable, but it is on the small to medium side. I haven't gotten any tangling or sh I have gotten some shedding because I did uh, tweeze the part so I have gotten shedding no tangling but I just you know pulled this out of the pack today and wore it for the first time the luster is natural because it's a yakky texture it might have a little bit of shine on the screen but I mean it might have a little bit of shine on the on camera but I mean it's front I'm in front of a ring light so yeah so I really like this wig I think it's beautiful I don't even want to get off camera right now because I'm just feeling myself so much this is so pretty yeah so if you're looking for some like this looks like date night Thanksgiving holiday hair to me like I'm feeling this a lot this is just so pretty yeah this video is probably gonna be long I'm gonna try to just stop talking yes um I do approve of this wig I really like it um, if you're interested, I'll put links in the description box to where you guys can purchase it. I miss you guys so much. I've missed talking to you guys. We are at 45,000 subscribers on our way to 50K. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'll have all of my social media platforms on, this, on the end card. So definitely stick around and check that out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Hop on flights to different countries. Sadly, but I promise you I'll be back soon.